Happy New Year, everyone. Let's talk about what was selling for me at the end of December. Howdy, y'all. My name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, sometimes Facebook Marketplace. I may dabble in some other platforms this year. We'll see. But those are my three main platforms, and I sell clothing, home goods, you name it. If I find it and I see that it will sell for some good money, then I will list it. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the sound of a busy dog. He's got his bone. He's angry with me for not playing with him. So he's gonna chew on his bone and take out that anxiety. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My channel is about reselling and I will share with you what sold. And that way you can know what you might wanna pick up to resell if you're in the reselling game or if you're thinking about it. And I will share with you how much I paid for things and basically the profit, which is after fees and all expenses come out with, with the exception of like shipping supplies and taxes and stuff for me. Um, that way you'll know how much you could potentially make in the end, because what something sells for isn't necessarily what you put it in your pocket for unless you're just selling it, you know, through local pickup or something. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. My channel's new. I had to move my channel. If you want to see some of my old videos, you can go to my playlists. All right, and the theme of today's what sold is um, I'm getting better at pricing. I'm starting to have more full price sales, and sometimes I don't even turn offers on because I'm like, no, this is the price it should go for. I don't want to deal with your offers. And uh, it you know, saves me a little bit of time. Um, I sold a lot of shoes and sweaters, and these were the sales for December 24th through 30th. We'll jump in and I'll explain my process as I go along. I'm going to share three categories, and the first one is top 10 sales. So that's by profit and in reverse order. The first one is this Brooks Brothers 346 size medium polo, PK knit tipped salmon pink white trim golf. Tipped, that white trim that's called tipped and PK knit. That's the type of knit. It has a different little texture. It has a little bit more of a texture than just a regular polo knit would. And Brooks Brothers is a good preppy brand. Look up the item because this did take a year to sell. Now it took 10 days to sell after relisting it. So I firmly believe that you should relist your items as frequently as you can. Listing new items is always good too, but if you can throw in some relisting at the same time, yes, I know that eBay will relist it for you, but I relist across all three platforms at the same time using Vindu. In the description, if you're interested in trying out Vindu, there's like a discount or some sort of offer. You get something, I get something. Feel free to use that. And this sold on eBay through an offer from a customer for $20.80 plus shipping. Everything I mentioned here is going to be plus shipping. I do not pay for shipping. If I do, I will specifically call it out. I had paid $1.40 and my profit was $16.61. I also share with you where I pick things up, if I can remember. And I picked this up at the Goodwill outlet, which is we call the bins. I'm allergic to Texas. Texas hates my guts. Next in the top 10, Anne Klein size 12 pull-on pants, Ponty knit stretch, skinny leg, black career. You notice I read to you my titles verbatim. That's just so you can see what things I include so that people can find them. To Obviously, the size and the brand are important and what it is. It's pants. And then for these, Ponty knit, that's like thicker, stretchy, four-way stretch fabric. So people liked Ponty pants. So you want to include that if it has that type of fabric. Pull on, a lot of people want those pull on elastic waistband pants. And then just some other uh, identifiers there. These sold in four months and it was three weeks without, af three weeks after relisting, sold on Poshmark. It was a full price sale. This was kind of surprising just to sell outright. Um, I didn't expect these to sell quickly. This is not something I sourced specifically. I got these at a in a Goodwill blue box. So Goodwill online, I think it's by bluebox.com or something. Um, Goodwill online will sell these mystery reseller boxes. 
I don't know if they're really aiming at resellers, but it's just so random that you would think they are. Um, my average cost of goods in that um, Goodwill Blue Box was $1.37. So that's how much I paid and my profit was $17.83. Super surprising. I don't think I would specifically seek out Anne Klein again um, in these pull-on pants unless I were to find them at the bins, maybe really inexpensive. All right, next sale. This is a personal item. Yeah, this, these were my own shoes that I was selling um, because I have problem feet now. I can't wear Converse anymore. Converse All-Stars unisex low top sneakers size women's nine men's seven shoes chucks. <laughs> Such a dork. Uh, these sold in six months, two weeks after relisting, sold on Poshmark through a Posher VA offer with discounted shipping. And I'll talk to you about Posher VA. That's another one of the tools I use. It is also in the description below with a discount code or link that you can use. Posher VA is a third party extension that, that basically lives on your browser and it will send out offers on your behalf. It will share your closet, whatever you want it to do. It almost can do anything. It can relist, it can delist, it can follow people, unfollow people, share your closet. You can schedule it for certain times. It's pretty amazing and it's worked pretty well for me. I have not had any issues with it and I have it sharing an offer to likers within I think like 10 minutes. I'll put a little thing here so you see it, um, how I have it set up with the discount and everything. So I feel like it p pays for itself if I get a few sales from it a week. And it sold for um, $25 was the, is that right? Yeah, I must have had these listed for 30 or something. So the customer accepted the offer of $25. I'm putting zeros in my cost of goods because these were a personal item out of my own closet. And my profit was $17.98. I can pretty much guess which one he wants, but let's see, which one? This one? this one it's definitely the green yeah definitely the green we want the pink nope doesn't want the pink here we have a vanity fair size small barbie nightgown vintage 60s eyelet organza baby doll nighty after reading that out loud i really hope that the person who bought this didn't think they were getting a nightgown for a barbie doll because I put Barbie in there because it was pink, but it's for a human being. It's for a grown woman. This sold in two years on eBay. I love selling vintage nightgowns. They don't sell quickly, typically. It was a full price sale of $28 plus shipping. My cost of goods was about $4. My profit was $19.78. Don't remember where I got that nightgown, but it was at a thrift store. It wasn't at the bins. I would remember that. And it wasn't at a garage sale or anything. So some thrift store somewhere. Next sale, a um, Great American Leatherworks crossbody shoulder bag, convertible black leather. This is not a brand I had heard of before, Great American Leatherworks. I will say it wasn't like a remarkable sell-through rate or anything, but it was a great quality classic looking bag and it didn't look like it had been used much at all. It sold in a month and a half on eBay. It was a full price sale for $34.96. If it says 96 cents, that means I did not allow offers. I might have sent out a small offer on some of these things that say 96 cents, but not in this case, somebody bought it outright. Um, plus the cost of shipping, of course, and my cost of goods was $8.65. That's how much they charge at Goodwill full price for purses. And um, I, I made $19.86. Okay, we're halfway through the top 10. Here we have a vintage Eddie Bauer size large sweater, wool winter mountain Christmas forest green. This was a personal item, but I did buy it on Poshmark for, from another seller, obviously. I bought it for myself, but we were living in Denver, Colorado at the time, and I just i am not really wearing sweaters in Texas. This is only because I have the fan on and there's a dog door that lets in some cold air, but as soon as I get up and moving, I'm gonna take it off. There's the dog using said dog door. 
Uh, sold in two months after I listed it, um, but three weeks after relisting on Poshmark also through a customer offer of $35. And I'm saying I spent zero. I think I paid like $25 for this. My profit was 28. But even if you consider what I originally paid for this, I made money. Okay, another vintage item, Christopher and Banks size extra large cardigan sweater embroidered sew seamstress tailor. This had like little needles and threads all over it and the embroidery, it was really cute. It was new with tags. It took seven months to sell. I, I generally think vintage items are gonna take longer. Um, sold within a month after relisting. And I do use Vindu to relist everything. You can use Posh or VA. You can go straight to Poshmark or eBay or whatever platforms. But since I start and originate all my listings out of Vindu, that's where I want to do my relisting. This was also a full price sale. Kind of surprised me. It was $36 plus shipping. I had started this higher and had been lowering it. Since this was listed for seven months, it would have been relisted um, a couple of times at least. I really feel like this is listed longer than seven months, but no, I just got this at um, an ARC sweater sale. The ARC sweater sale is a dollar uh, for every sweater. I was thinking it was 50% off, but it's actually a dollar per sweater. Um, so my cost of goods was a dollar eight. That's including the tax. My profit is $30.51. Super tempted to fly back to Denver for their sweater sale because I miss being able to find amazing sweaters, even at the end of the season. In Texas, not finding so many, not finding that many sweaters. Next we have Lafayette 148 New York, size six dress pants, straight leg, stretch wool, wool blend, um, career. These sold in nine months, one month after relisting on eBay through promoted listings. And promoted listings is when you pay a little bit additional in fees on eBay, to have something show up earlier in the search results, like higher in the search results than other listings. It does cost more in fees. I pay all the way up to 15% typically. And um, fortunately it was a full price sale of $48 plus shipping. My cost of goods was $4.35 and my profit was $30.68. Found these at a Goodwill. Hmm, I might need to put my reading glasses on. These are my computer glasses. Let me. Next to last in the top 10 is Baby Jogger Car Seat Adapter. There's the part number. New City Select Premier Stroller Attachment. This is the second of these Baby Jogger attachments that I've sold recently. This sold in 24 days, so that's what I'm calling a fast flip. Anything that sold in a month. Um, sold on Poshmark for full price of $50. I had paid $7.58 and my profit was $32.42. I also found those at a regular Goodwill. And the best sale of the week was this Disney Store Prince John 13-inch Lion Plush stuffed animal toy with tags rare. I think there was one or two others listed. I listed mine just under theirs, I think. Not too much. Maybe the same price. Sold in a month. Another fast flip on eBay. It did sell through promoted listings, so my profit wasn't as high. It was a full price sale of $68.99 plus shipping, and I had paid six. My profit was $41.69. I believe I got this at Salvation Army. Next category is fast flips, and this is really my favorite because this is where you'll find some surprising things. Don't assume that all of these things you must go pick up. They may have just sold quickly by circumstance or because I priced them low or because it just came along at the right time, right? But I do like to mention them and I'll tell you whether I think these are things I would pick up again. The first is McCall's Iron-On Transfers, volume five and four, stitch and embroidery, 1930s through 1970s designs. Sold in three weeks, three weeks on eBay through promoted listings. It was full price at $10 plus shipping. I paid 50 cents at a garage sale and I made $5.12. I think I would pick these up again if a few things. One, I was a little worried about these transfers because they had bled through onto the other page and I made note of that in the listing. 
Um, so I'm hoping that's not a problem for the person who bought them. Didn't make that much off of them, but they're really easy to list. So if I could find like a whole bunch of these for super, super, super cheap and get them listed, you know, like maybe I found a box of them or something, then I might pick them up. But just one or two here or there, probably not. Maybe, but probably not. For 50 cents though, you really can't go wrong. Next fast flip is an anthropomorphic de decorator decals, one sheet of cute, kitschy animals, spring Easter. These sold in three weeks on eBay through promoted listings for $9 plus shipping. And this was an offer that somebody sent me. I paid a dollar and my profit was $5.66. I probably will always pick something up like this because they're so cute for less than a dollar, dollar or less. Here we have Rockport XCS men's size nine and a half loafer, driving shoes, black leather slip-on comfort. These also sold in three weeks on eBay. It was also a full price sale of $19.96 plus shipping. And I had paid $7.03. My profit was $8.78. I'll pick these up again. I'd probably want to spend less than this because... Yeah, they sold quickly for $20, but I only made $8.78. If, if I don't have to clean them up, that's fine. But they, they don't have a, a very high ASP, so I'll be very careful when I pick these up. Also got these at Salvation Army. Next, we have Madame Alexander McDonald's Mini Dolls, five and a half inch vintage flower girl. It's raining ducks. It's raining duck. <laughs> I think it's raining and Flower Girl, the names of the dolls. And then I just threw in duck because that's how someone might recognize it. To me, these were a bad pickup, but they did sell in three weeks on eBay through promoted listings, full price of $8.96 for the two plus shipping. And I had paid $4. There's the problem. Um, and my profit was $2.96. These are Mal Madame Alexander, which is a collectible doll, but they are only McDonald's toys. And you know how McDonald's toys goes. There's few that are truly truly valuable these were cute and easy to list at least and i had fun picking them up at the garage sale but i will avoid in the future next to last fast flip is a george jones baseball cap hat new the possum a head authentic headgear navy i think that's the name of the brand um sold in six days on ebay through an offer of 16 dollars plus shipping and i had paid 215 at goodwill and my profit was $12.57. I love picking up baseball caps, especially when they're new and they don't, I don't have to clean them. They are great, quick sellers, quick shippers, and quick listers. And the last fast flip is probably my favorite. It's this Garfield Chef Refrigerator Fridge Magnet, three inch hook tail cook kitchen plastic. Sold in four days on Mercari. It was a full price sale-ish. You know, Mercari has smart pricing. You can set a high and a low. I think I had 15 as the high and 12 as the low. These sold for $14.25. So the price had been dropping. I paid a buck at a garage sale. My profit was $11.79. This was a dusty ass magnet on <laughs> a refrigerator. Hadn't been priced. I don't even think they had looked at the magnets on the fridge. Um, it had a little Garfield um, hot pad too hanging on it, but that was pretty dirty. Um, this guy just needed to be cleaned off, wiped off. He's plastic and he was just layer, thick layer of dust on it. Um, when I asked how much they were like, where'd you get that? So, you know, look at the fridge, look at the things that, um, they may not have thought to price, uh, that may have a, a, a little value. I have one thing in the category that I call lessons learned. Oftentimes it's a brand that I wouldn't pick up or an item I wouldn't pick up. Um, in this case, it was a lesson to me that just because an item in a brand sells quickly does not mean every item in that brand is going to sell quickly. It seems obvious, but you know, you get excited when something sells really fast. I sold an agave denim t-shirt ways back that I had picked up at the bins. It even had a hole in it and it sold super fast and somebody had sent me a listing of, you know, so great to find these in good condition, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wow, this brand must do well. So I picked up this sweater, sweatshirt type um, top for $8 at a Goodwill. 
I listed it and it took a year and two months to sell. It's the Agave Denim Size Large Fulsum Sweater Lightweight Long Sleeve Crew Neck Gray Stripe. Shouldn't have spent that much on something that wasn't going to sell, right? But I was just sure it was going to sell because something else did in that brand. It did sell five weeks after relisting on eBay. It sold also as a promoted listing and through an offer. I mean, all the hoops I had to jump to through to sell this thing, right? For $15 plus shipping, I would paid eight and my profit was only $1.50. Thank goodness I got my money back, but I did learn a lesson in the end. So that is everything from the week of the 24th through 30th. Um, not too bad for the end of the year. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of give you a little summary of December. I am like making my way back out of the hole um, from sales, from being sick earlier in the year, unable to really work, um, not as much as I'd like at least. And it, it's, it's getting better getting better. Of course, December and January were good months last year too. So maybe it's just the fact that it's that time of year when people are buying. But I also believe it's the hard work that I've been putting into it. I gotta, I gotta believe that, right? I'm going to make sure January is even better by getting a lot of this shit that you're seeing behind me. Is everyone tired of seeing it? Everyone tired of seeing that sweater and that sport coat? Cause they've been on those mannequins forever. Um, and this pile, yeah, uh, today is going to be a photographing day for me. Um, it's January 1. What a better way to start the year than tackling my money pile, right? So you guys have a great 2024. I hope it's doing well for you so far. And just keep listing.